you guys and welcome back to my channel. So the cosmetic product that I'm going to be trying and making today is going to be something that can set up your day or night look and that is DIY makeup setting spray. So let's get into it and see how they hold up. The first step you guys is to put two tablespoons of pure aloe gel. For those of you guys who actually don't know this, real aloe vera gel actually has zero green color whatsoever and every single aloe vera gel you see with green is 100% dye. Alright, there's the two. Step number two is to add two to three drops of lavender oil. And for mine you guys, I just added the full three amount. Alright you guys, so the third and final step is to add a cup and a half of water, preferably distilled water because a lot of tap water does contain bacteria and that will make your setting spray go bad quicker. Alright, so now just mix it all together. That should be about good. Alright you guys, so the next step you're going to be doing is putting your concoction into a little spray bottle here. Preferably glass if you can find it. I couldn't so I'm just using a regular plastic one. Alright you guys, so my concoction is in the little bottle. I just put a label on there so I remember which one is which because I know once I take my eyes off of both of them together, I will definitely forget which one is which. You definitely don't have to put a label on if you don't want to, but you can if you'd like. So let's get on to the second one. So the first step for product number two is to do six parts cooled green tea. And it says to leave it to steep for five to 10 minutes. So a little bit longer than normal. So step number two, you guys, is to add two tablespoons of vegetable glycerin. And if you're like me and couldn't find any vegetable glycerin, you can just use regular glycerin that you can find in your first aid section at the store. Third and final step, you guys, is to put in an essential oil of your choosing, about three to five drops. And I chose lavender because it has anti-inflammatory properties and I also just had it on hand from the other spray. Right, and I'm just gonna add right in the middle four drops. Apparently I'm adding five. All right, now just combine all the ingredients together. That looks well combined, so now let's pop it in the bottle. Alright, here's the second one done. Obviously I did not need to put a label on the first one because this is very visibly green. Another thing I want to say about this, you guys, if you do have acne prone skin, because this has so much glycerin in it, you are more likely to get clogged pores with this one than the first one without it. Just a heads up. So let's try them out. Alright you guys, so what I'm going to do for both of these is I'm going to spray one on each side of my face and then I'm going to see if it lasts throughout the day. I'm also going to be spraying my face with a little bit of water. I'm also going to be blow drying my face to see if it can stand the water and wind test. And I am also going to see if it comes off when it touches dark clothing. The first one here we actually have is supposed to be a mattifying one. So we'll see if it actually does that because I actually have really oily skin. Now the type of makeup I have on right now, I actually don't wear any liquid foundation or anything. I just kind of have a powder on top of some primer. So we'll see if this holds it in place. All right, so we're gonna do my right side with the first one here, the side that's not shaved. Just make sure you shake it well. All right. That feels well saturated. So the first one's just finishing drying, so let's get on to the second one. Since this has green tea in it, it's actually supposed to be really good for anti-aging, anti-acne, and anti-inflammation. So let's give it a try. Alright, so the second one we're going to be trying on my left side, which is the side where I have my shaved head. Okay. That's all saturated. Let's try them both. Alright you guys, so I kind of just brought you into my bathroom because the lighting in here is a little bit better to see the quality of my makeup before we start this. So I'm just going to show you guys up close. Okay. Alright, 
So basically all we're going to be doing is seeing if this stays the quality that it is now. And don't forget, this one is the second one we tried with the green tea, and this one is the first one with the aloe vera and the lavender. So first, before we start anything, what I want to do is put a black shirt to my face and see if I get any powder or rub off. So I have my shirt here. Now this is the side with the first setting spray, so let's just push it on the face. There's a little there, but not much. Usually with powders, if you don't put anything on top of them, they will come off on basically everybody you hug. So let's just try that again because I am in disbelief. You're seeing movement. Nothing, that's pretty good, okay. So let's try side number two with the glycerin and green tea. Clean slate. Ooh, a little bit. Ooh, a little bit of my highlighter on there. Woo. So the second one is not doing so good with the takeoff, but surprisingly the first one is. Surprisingly the first one's working. Let me just double dab that on my highlighter and see. Yeah. The first one's doing really good. Let's try that again on the second one, because I felt like glycerin would hold a lot better than just water and aloe vera. Mm -hmm. Less now, but let's see. Okay, well maybe I just missed a little spot, but so far they're both doing pretty good. None of my foundation's coming off. It was just maybe my glitter a little bit. So far, so good. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of dishes and a little bit of editing, and I'll come back in a couple hours and we'll see if my face is still the same. Then what I'm gonna do is spray my face with some water and we'll see if anything starts stripping or leaking. And I'm also gonna do a wind test with my blow dryer and see if it blows off any of the powder. So see you guys in a few hours. All right, you guys, so I'm back. It has been a few hours. I started this at 11 a.m. and it is now 2 p.m. And I've been outside, I've been to the mall, I've been out and about, and I can tell you that so far, this is actually lasting pretty good on both sides. I've actually noticed that the side with the green tea and the glycerin, more of my makeup has stayed on than this side, but they're both pretty much exactly how they were when I started. So let's take a closer look. So this is the side with number one. Number two. So as you can see, they pretty much both held up really good. Surprisingly, these actually work better than the setting spray that I have right now, which is supposed to be like a matte setting spray. Also, you guys, what I have noticed, the side that is supposed to be mattified does look a tiny little bit more mattified. It's a little bit less oily than the other side. So that's good, it did its job. But overall, they've been working really good throughout the day. I've had them on four hours. I've been outside, I've been doing my housework. I've done a lot of stuff that normally would kind of mess up my makeup or definitely take it off a little bit. And it's still pretty much exactly how it was when I left the house. So, so far, so good. So what I wanna do now with you guys is use a blow dryer and see if it blows any of the powder off. And also I'm gonna spray my face down with some mist and see if it affects it at all. So let's get into that. All right, you guys, so I have my blow dryer here. And I'm just gonna kind of blow it on my face like a windy day. Now that we're back from that windy day, let's take another look. Okay, so this is side one. Still pretty much the same. Side two. Yep, pretty much the same. So, so far it passed the wind test. So let's try the mist test. Now you're probably wondering what the hell is the mist test? Is this girl really gonna spray her face with a hose? I'm not, I'm going to use this stuff. And this honestly blows my mind. It is just water in a spray bottle. So I'm just gonna spray it on my face like it's a rainy ass day. Are you guys ready? I don't know if I am. Okay. All right, you guys, so I just sprayed the hell out of my face. Now let's see if it held up. Mm -hmm. This is side two. Okay. Looks like it's lifting a little. Okay, side one. Hmm. That one looks like it's holding up pretty good too. 
They both seem to hold up pretty good, you guys. Even after spraying my face, being out for four hours, and the wind test. So let's get over what I loved and what I didn't love about these. So let's go over what I liked and what I did like about these ones. All right, you guys, so let's talk about side number one with the lavender and the aloe vera spray. So what I liked about the first spray was it actually does add a little bit of mattifying to your face. It doesn't have that sticky feeling that a lot of setting sprays I find have, and it also lasted. Overall, the first spray worked really well, and I didn't really notice a lot of makeup come off at all. My face pretty much looked exactly how it was when I left the house this morning. On top of that, the first one is less likely to clog your pores because there's no glycerin or anything in it that will clog them. Honestly, the cons for this one, I didn't really have any. Overall, I just really loved it. So let's get on to the second one. So let's get on to side number two, the green tea and glycerin spray. Now the green tea and glycerin spray, what I did notice was it actually did hold on my makeup a little tiny bit more than the other side. Neither side had any crazy amount of makeup missing, but this one I did definitely notice there was a little bit more left on. Also what I liked about it was the fact that it was mostly green tea. Green tea is very good for your skin and me having trouble skin. It is really nice to be able to put something on my face that is actually good and will actually do a job. The one bad thing I can say about it is I don't necessarily love. I do feel it is, it is a tiny bit heavier than the other spray, but I barely notice. The reason it is probably a little bit heavier is because glycerin is definitely heavier than water and it will potentially clog your pores because of this. So if you are acne prone, the second one probably isn't the best one for you, but overall it did a very good job and did what it said. At the end of the day, you guys, both of them did what they said they were going to do. They set my makeup and they held them on my face. Overall, I would recommend either to you guys. Unless you have acne prone skin, I would say go with either of them. If not, go with the first spray because it doesn't have glycerin and you are less likely to get your pores clogged using it. The one thing I do want to say about these DIY setting sprays is they do not last as long as store-bought because there are zero preservatives in them at all. You will have to keep them in the fridge and it is suggested to make small batches so you go through them quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad today that we came out with two great products today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got something out of it and maybe have a new natural DIY setting spray to use. Let me know down in the comments below if any of you guys tried it and liked it. So please remember to like and subscribe you guys and tell me what you guys want to see next and I'll see you in my next video.